Hello everyone. I have been going through a stack of games lately. Um, not to mention games I haven't finished. Um, and to aid me with this stack of games, I have been using a little bit of uh, ADHD medication. I like to call Heineken. Uh, it, it, it don't buy the the um, the keg. It's it's not worth it. I mean, and I've even got a glass here to show you. But it's not it's not worth it. Like the uh, it kind of tastes like the inside of uh, the inside of the keg. To be honest, it tastes kind of metallic, and that's kind of nasty. To be completely honest. Um, like I was talking to a friend, he's like, sometimes if it's not cooled well, uh, like it says, it's supposed to be cooled for like 10 hours beforehand, um, before you open it, <clears throat> but it was cooled at the store, so I, I don't know, a friend of mine was telling me if it's not cooled well, this could happen, I don't know, it's like 20 bucks for, a, it's like 20 to 22 bucks for a, um, keg of Heineken, you can buy a case for like of 12 bottles for like 14 bucks and a um a, a um Heineken keg is like 15 bottles equivalent so it's not worth it it's uh, I thought it'd make the beer taste better it actually made it taste worse so anyway um but on top of lots of beer um I have been playing a lot of games and I'm just gonna I'm not gonna these aren't reviews I'm not a freaking journalist or an analyst oh and by the way the, the keg likes to, um, drip, I don't know if you can see that, but it dripped on the desk. Um, sometimes it does that, not all the time. But anyway, um, Kane of Lynch 2 is a shockingly good game. The first game was so bad, it was so horrible, and it was controversial, because Jeff Gerspin lost his job shortly, shortly after giving the game a negative review. And, um... It, but and it was just overall a broken game. Um, wasn't good at all. Um, this game's uh, quite good. It's real short. It's like four hours or something like that. That's what everyone's saying. <clears throat> I beat it probably like six ish. I I wasn't really paying attention, but um, it's balls to the wall all the way through. It's uh, basically a deal goes bad. Um, I'm I i can not I can't say it without spoiling anything because it's like four four to six hour game, um, you're, you pay a guy a visit, because I guess he's been talking too much, and, um, so you open up his door, and they just start shooting immediately, so you chase him down, and he's got his girlfriend with him, she's like, they're both, like, running, like, naked, and you eventually catch up with her, and he takes her as a human shield, and, um, in the crossfire, she ends up getting shot, turns out, um, that like this this girl is a very significant person not giving away any details and it gets you in a lot of trouble um so it just ends up being like a, a, the whole game is just it's it's foobar which is like a marine phrase or fucked up beyond all recognition it's just balls to the wall all the way through just running for your life most of the time um and lots and lots of shooting it's a very good game considering they did this whole um, shaky cam, kind of like Blair Witch, Cloverfield, digital camera um, thing. And they did it so well. You can turn off the shaking, because it, it just made me want to throw up, and I don't get sick from playing games. Um, but yeah, a really good game. Like, And the first one was so bad, but this game is very enjoyable. Um... I would I got it for like ten bucks on Gamefly because I bought it off of Gamefly. I recommend you get it for as cheap as you can since it's so short. But it's got co-op, so if you want to play co-op with a friend, you can. Um, another game I just got and I got this for ten dollars at a pawn shop. It's Red Dead, and um, you know everyone else has played this, so I'm really behind. Um, it's a good game. It's got great voice acting. The only thing is I'm getting older, and um. I don't know, I, I kind of like my games to be action as much as possible and cut out as much filler as possible. And, uh, um, at the beginning I'm like lassoing horses and, you know, breaking them in and everything like that. And it's like, 
I mean, I, I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting old or too soon, but I just want to get to the action. I just want to shoot stuff. Uh, but, um, so I was shooting stuff, and the, oh man, it's so satisfying when you, when you switch into the whole bullet time deal, and, um, the whole screen's like yellow, almost, but you can kind of see things, and when you blast guys, it's, this is all slow-mo, so when you blast guys, uh, the screen will shake as you pull the trigger, as the gun goes off, and the, the blood shows up visibly, uh, it's just a really satisfying feeling, it, it makes you sound really violent, either, but, but I'm not, um, I haven't played it that much. I maybe played it like a few hours. Just haven't had the time to get around to it. Just a good game. It's it's uh, the voice acting and the story seems all very um, intriguing. It's very rare in games. The last game I think I played a game. The last game I played with a really good story I think was Gun. Shockingly enough, because it's also a Western game. <clears throat> That's a game you all need to play. If you haven't played Gun, I know it's old and everyone talked about. It. I know the graphics look terrible, but trust me, you got to play that game. It's it's really good to be like westerns. Um. Of course, I'm, I'm always playing Black Ops. Um, uh, the way I feel about Black Ops is I feel like it was a little bit more balanced than Modern Warfare 2. Um, getting a little burnt out, but it's really cool that it doesn't take so long to get into. Like Modern Warfare 2, it's like, play for 10,000 hours to get the uh, AK-47 at rank 70,000 or whatever. I, it was a really high rank and to get some of the more basic guns, and um, I just don't, don't have the time. I don't. It's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. Um, to me, it, I don't like wasting my time with games. I like to get right down to it. And this game, in Black Ops, you can buy the guns you want fairly quickly. Um, <clears throat> it's it's not as much work. And you can just buy the attachments that you want. You don't have to get, you know, a, a thousand headshots with a specific gun to and waste your time. Um, which is great. And the campaign is great. Anyway, it's old news. I really like Black Ops. It's amazing. Um... I started playing Army of Two the 40th day with my brother, and I really want to like this game. I really, really do, but it's got camera issues. It's like a, your character ends up blocking the camera most of the time. Um, you kind of got to fiddle around. You click down on the stick to change shoulders. The camera's pointing over your shoulder all the time. Um, it's just, I don't know, and taking cover behind things is kind of a... a uh, when you're moving from left to right, you can actually step out from behind the cover. You can actually just keep waddling, you know, ac across the cover before and accidentally step out into crossfire. It, it doesn't stick you to that area. Um, it's hard to explain until you play, but overall, it's it's okay. Like it's got weapon customization, but just like the first game, it's it's kind of mediocre. I think Kane and Lynch Two is a better game, which blows my mind because. I was convinced Ken Lynch 2 was going to be garbage, and I was convinced that they had a lot to improve on with the first game, but they haven't really changed much. I mean, with that said, if you want a co-op game, it's alright. You know, it's it's not bad. It's just I've played enough really good shooters. It's not the best. <clears throat> um, I, And speaking of shooters, I got really fatigued, so I got NBA 2K11. This is a really in, just a fantastic basketball game. It's the first basketball game I think I've played in, like, ten years. I can't remember the last basketball game I played. Um, graphics were all pretty good. Some things look really goofy, like their mouths look real goofy, and some of the refs look, look ridiculous. Nate McMillan's like, all the time. He's like, His skin has no texture at all. The refs look horrible for the most part. Um, it's hard, too, man. You, I put it on casual, and even then it's kind of hard. Especially for me, because I don't I don't take much time on one game to get great at it. That's why I don't play a whole ton of fighting games because I I'm impatient. Um, it's a simulation. This is not NBA Jam or NBA Live by any means. This is a sim. So you gotta be you gotta take it slow. You got to um, adjust and you know just just kind of learn. I'm not playing the single player. I'm just playing versus with friends on the. Um, you know, quick game deal. Uh, I don't have time to play the single player. Um, mostly because I'm not really interested. It's not what, not why I bought the game. Um, great game. Just really great game. It's got a ton of old teams. If you love old teams like your old Blazers and my... I'm from... I'm in Portland, so if you love... You know, I can go back and play the old Blazers when they were great. Um, they got tons of different teams from different eras when they were good. Um, of course, got the old Bulls of Jordan and stuff. 
Why can't I play to Jordan after all this time? Go figure. Um, so I, I think I, I covered all of them. I still haven't finished this Space One. I, I don't know if the game does not really pull me back in like uh, I would like it to. And I haven't finished Saints Row 2. Haven't finished. Uh, I, I was going to go back and play Halo Reach again on with s some three player co op with my brothers, but just got, you know, other games come out, you know. Um, but this game I just bought. I haven't even played it yet. Everyone says it's great. I was seeing some of the fatalities online, just running into them on YouTube. Oh man, even for Mortal Kombat, this is violent. Like, I wonder, I often wonder if uh, they just had all that pent up rage after DC. They're like, dude, we gotta get some good fatalities in this game because we had none in the last game. So, um, I have nothing to say about Mortal Kombat because I haven't played it. Everyone says it's great. But yeah, I mean, that, that's basically it as far as my game game life or whatever um I got this tattoo recently which I will be talking about um I'm sorry it looks like crap uh I mean because of the stupid digital camera but it's the burning bush it's Moses it's all about Moses before he went to into the desert I mean when he, before he went into Egypt he was you know attending this flock and he and, uh encountered a burning, burning bush and you know and God says you will go into Egypt and and save my people. Um, that was how God spoke to Moses. I'm not trying to turn this into a Christianity video. I'm just saying that this tattoo is inspiring to me because he he told God he couldn't do it. He told God, "I am slow of speech." People, scholars think he may have had a stuttering problem. We don't know, but he basically said, "I'm not comfortable doing this. I can't do this." And you know, he's going up against Pharaoh. To be fair, you know, Pharaoh could kill anyone he wanted. Um, and God said, you know, God basically said, who made man's mouth? I did. Who made the, the deaf, the mute, uh, the seeing, or the blind? I did. So basically, I, he says, I made you who you are, and I will enable you, so go and I'll tell you what to do. And, um, like I said, I'm not trying to derail the whole video game train, um, and turn this into a completely different thing. But this is this is what this tattoo means to me, okay. Um I feel like if you're gonna get a tattoo, don't get something stupid. Don't get freaking don't get freaking sub zero tattooed on your freaking shoulder or whatever. Cause you're gonna grow up and you're gonna get mature and you're gonna be like, Why did I do this? Don't get me wrong, I love the juvenile nature of Mortal Kombat, but I'm not gonna get that tattooed on my body. You know what I mean? Make sure if you get a tattoo it's something really meaningful. Something that will stick with you forever. Because um, it's going to be there forever. Unless you get laser treatment. Anyway. Um, I really have nothing else to say. So. Um, anyway. Goodbye for now. Until. I'm sorry it's been so long since I made a video.